Welcome, Eagles everywhere. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro, joined by the newest Philadelphia Eagle wide receiver, Zach Paschal, is in the house. Philadelphia Eagle, congratulations. Welcome. Appreciate How's it, it feel? Feels good, man. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to work with this organization. For those fans who don't know you as well, what can we expect to see? What, what, what are you telling the fans about Zach Paschal and what you bring to this football team? Zach Paschal plays with a lot of energy a lot of excitement and just brings that work ethic. Whatever you need me to do, I'm gonna go do that times 10, you know? And so that's just the mindset, that's just the goal. That's that's what you got in Zach Pass. I, I find your journey and your story amazing. I mean, you know, Old Dominion is not exactly Oklahoma. Right. Um, first monarch to go to the combine, which must've been cool. Did you feel when you went to the combine that, was that like the moment you said, hey, I can, I, I can play at this NFL level? No, nah, I actually, felt the NFL moment like I could play in the NFL, like probably like my sophomore year of college. And once I set that goal, it was like, that's all I'm that's all I'm going for. What was it? What happened when you were a sophomore? What was was there a moment, a game? A, I think a it was a it was a game. It was a game and I caught a deep pass. I think it was like a fingertip catch for a touchdown. And then I mean, throughout that whole week, you know, just thinking about it, I was just like, oh wow, like I made that play. Like this is plays people making the league. So if I can do this now, I could definitely make it to the league. And then being able to be the first person to the combine and all that, like it was just, it was just all, all exciting. And even after that, though, Zach, it had not been easy. Cut three times. Mm -hmm. What made you keep going? What allowed you to overcome defeat in those, in those moments? I think it was just, you know, falling in love with the grind and falling in love with, with overcoming adversity. Because I had adversity in college. I had adversity in the league. Like in life period, you're gonna have adversity. So if I could take this game and practice facing adversity and grind it through it, you know, through this game and make it to the league, then in life, you know, whatever pops up, I'm gonna be able to handle that. And that's, you know, what's most important. I love you said at the press conference when you met with reporters that if you were told that you could not do something, right. you were like, I'm gonna do it and then some. And then some. Were, would you get like older brothers beat you down or something when you're like, how did you? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, so I mean, just, you know, in high school, so the environment that I grew up in, it was a lot of trash talk. And that's how we brought energy to the game. So if somebody's telling me I can't do something, now I have to show you that I can, that I'm going to do it. And but that being said, regardless if I'm hurting, if I'm sick, if I'm whatever, I'm going to show you regardless. Zach, you get to Indianapolis in 2018 and it starts to click. Mm -hmm. Take me through it. What, special teams, running routes, meeting Nick Sirianni, working with a stable environment. Are these all things that contributed to your success? Yes. Yeah, so, I mean, just being able to be available and do whatever is asked of me. And so just building that type of relationship from then on, you know, I feel like that, that kind of helped me continue. In the NFL, was there another moment that you got even more convinced that not only were you going to be able to make it in the NFL, but that you were going to be able to stay and play at a high level. Absolutely. Um, it was one game we played the Steelers and I had a couple sideline catches. I had a touchdown and I had like a, a game tying field goal catch. And I was like, you know, but we had, we had starters out. T.Y. was out. Devin Funches was out at the time. So I was, I had the opportunity. And so I went out there and I, I, I played good and, you know, from then on, I was like, oh, I could really do this. And then at that time, the coaches obviously expressed to you, hey, we trust you. We're going to give you more opportunity, more opportunity to play, more opportunity to play. Mm -hmm. So what was Nick, what was the process like with Nick? Where was it? He was the coordinator. You were a wide receiver. How much, what, what kind of relationship did you have at that time? Well, I, I would say it like this. Even though he was the offensive coordinator, he was basically the head coach of the offense. So every offensive meeting, he's running the offense. He's describing the details. He's saying how he wants it done. So that's kind of how it went in Indy. And his mindset, you're, you're also kind of like the same competitive, detail-oriented mindset, yeah, right? That, yeah. That's why it, it works? Mm -hmm. So he played receiver when he was younger, and I'm a receiver, so he's always locked in on the, on the details at receiver, which I am too, the small stuff. So when we have a conversation, a normal person could hear us talking and be like, well, what are y'all talking about? You know, we talking deep football and competing with whatever, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a joy having him. You talked about you guys shoot hoops together. Mm -hmm. What kind of game does he have? This is the really important question that he, I need to get an answer to. He got, a, he got a jump shot. He, he could definitely shoot. I would say once he once he has a rhythm, it's over, you know, but I feel like I'm a better shooter than him. So we always, <laughs> we always compete. I win, 
he wins, I lose, he loses, you know, it's, it's always. Zach, um, he mentioned you a lot last year, and he also talked about you and the idea of dog mentality. Uh, we, For those who don't know, you were wearing a shirt, a hoodie, mm -hmm. with dog mentality on it, and he kind of adapted that. Is that how it started? Yeah, so I had brought the dog culture uh, clothing to, to Indy, gave all the coaches, all the staff, all the, you know, the janitors, the cooks, everybody got one. And then so when Nick got hired here, you know, he hit me up and was like, you know, he wants to bring that here. So I was like, yeah, all right, cool. So, you know, we set it up, had him, had the, the, the shirts and the, all the dog apparel sent out here. And then one weekend I seen pregame, all, all, all the players that had the, had the dog on, I was like, oh, wow, look at this, this is nice. <laughs> what does dog mentality mean to you? To me, dog mentality means regardless of any adversity, fight through it, be a dog and, and do, you know what I'm saying, be more. To others, it may be something different, but for me, that's, that's what that stands for. Be a dog in what you have to do today and tomorrow and the next day. Don't focus on what's going on here or what's going on. Focus on being a dog in your circle and be a dog at it. I love it. And that's kind of been, as you say, your, your mantra. Um, finally, you brought your mother on the, the trip here. And I wondered why and how special it is for you to share this moment with her. You know, my mom has been like a backbone since since I, I've known. And she's she has she's from the Caribbean islands. So she's always even she's always been taking care of me, hasn't really gone to too many different places. So it's like this is a new situation for me. You coming with me because you gonna you gonna experience all of this with me as well because you haven't you wasn't there experience with me at any other time and so like that was just a no brainer like yeah my mom you're coming with me my sweet mom, yeah. that's beautiful that's um, when you leave me here you are going where and anything new happening in your life in the next few days got a baby coming nice. I got a baby coming in in twelve days baby girl Zari Zari Pascal so I'm excited. And have you gotten used to swaddling and you had to change the no, diapers? No, no, but I'm, I'm, I'm ready for the challenge. You know what? Just use the dog mentality <laughs> one day at a time. The time. Zach, nice to meet you. Nice to meet Welcome you. to Philadelphia. Yeah. Looking forward to seeing you play in 2022 in Philadelphia. Dave Spadaro, Zach Pascal, thanks for joining us.